My name is Lizzie. I'm making a series of videos to try and inspire you during these difficult times um, through origami. It's a really beautiful way to focus the mind and make something, I think, astonishing out of a flat piece of paper. So I'm going to share with you how to make a beautiful traditional lily. In this case, I would suggest just watching. This isn't me teaching you, but simply to enjoy watching this beautiful process. I hope you're going to enjoy it. So I'm going to make it from a piece of A4 paper and I'm just going to grab a board and a piece of paper. Here we go. I'll direct it down so you can now watch. I hope you'll enjoy this and I'll chat away at the same time to show you what I'm doing. So first of all, I'm going to make a little square. Here we go, be very exact. And I'm taking my time nice and accurate I'm going to make a square so I'm doing this from just normal piece of paper I'm going to get rid of this rectangle so to do that I turn it over and I then back along this line and I've I've mostly learned through YouTube videos and found it very relaxing to watch someone's hands in this case the traditional lily I was learnt by someone who was a patient in hospital and she asked me to learn and to pass it on and at first I found it rather hard but someone was asking me to learn and believed that I could do it then I had to in the best possible way so the traditional lily has been a beautiful thing to do so I've got a triangle I'm going to fold it over again and I'm also doing videos to teach, but in this case, I thought it would be nice just just watch, just watch and enjoy this process of a flower that will emerge. Here we go. There's a little pocket I'm putting my finger in. Squashing it down to make a square. There's something beautiful about the simplicity of paper. And yet it turns out it can be very complex making something beautiful. Here it goes, the square. Turn it to the other side. And I bend back along that line. So imagine I'm making this lily for you. I'm thinking of everyone at this time. And it's lovely to reach you this way. It's like a little book, these little leaves, and I'm going to pop my finger in and squash it down. And it forms like a little kite shape. It's like a whole journey that we go through with this. And I'm going to do this on each side as a symmetry of four. Little flaps, I'm going to put my finger in it down. And while you're focused on this everything else disappears for a little bit. It's about really focusing your mind and using your fingers. How given concentration you can make beautiful things and this has come from other people who've made these discoveries and passed it on. It's a traditional lily from Japan so a lily as I've been hearing is can be a symbol for purity and it's I think it's a very beautiful flower I've been making lots of these in hospitals and they've always been enjoyed there we go so next I'm going to fold these sides to the middle like so. And if you'd like to learn how to do this, I'll also be making some videos to explain. So you might just about be able to do it from this, but I recommend this as a relaxation, just one to watch. 
think it's a little bit like a dance with your fingers like a little piece of choreography um, taking your time means that I think you're also taking time for yourself and it calms you down it's not about rushing there we go I'm trying to be nice and accurate because if you're accurate it will all work very well that's that time and attention to detail there we go and on the other side the next step I would say is a bit mind bending <laughs> and it makes it a little bit more of a complicated piece of origami so you open the flaps I like to think of opening opening the present maybe and then I'm changing the direction here make a little point and then push it up and you may think I could never do this you could give them time and patience I've worked with people of all ages and sometimes even with people who can only use one hand or struggle with movement but with determination and time and help together we can get there rid of those little creases there bring it up and I need to make sure each side that's right I've just got one more side to do there's a crackle of the paper Oh, it's beautiful stuff paper so next we're going to tighten the flower so I'm just flicking through to a smooth side and folding it to the middle on this side and I'm going to do that on all the sides so I flick through until I find a smooth side and I'm folding that in a straight line we're almost there like a flat pack flower very soon oh, God, far to go hope you're finding this interesting there we go last side going to open up the flower so to do that I use a pencil and I curl it round and hopefully you can see curl it round to the point where it naturally goes and then let go and then on to the next petal just curling it down Here we go the key is not to hold the bottom of the flower just each petal at a time it can go against your instincts but if you just hold the petal and the pencil it will work well if you hold the bottom of the flower it can't open up can you see I'm just doing each one as I go along and then the final one And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the traditional lily. Thank you.